and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Guys, we are here. We have the hair. We have a huge B&M. Not B&M, home bargains. Oh my God, blasphemy. Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. Yes, this is the first of the proper Christmas content. We have the hair done now, guys. We have the hair. We're good to go. We've got a huge bag of Home Bargains goodies here. And, okay, I must admit, I have started with the Christmas bits. Don't shout at me, okay? There is probably some stuff in here that you think is unnecessary. However, I think it is necessary. And some of these bits in here I didn't put in. We're going to have to have a look through because as we was at the checkout, I realised my partner dipped a few things in. So some of this is a surprise even to me, okay? Guys, get comfy, get cosy, get that mulled wine, get that non-alcoholic goodness. And let's get in with a huge, huge bag of home bargains for November. Right. I mean, let's just start off with something that sums this haul up. So, of course, they had advent calendars. This isn't for me. I've actually picked this up for Dada. It was 99p, guys, okay? He will get a proper one. He will always get his proper one. But I saw this and I thought, that's quite a little uh, funny one, let's just say. Because we do have a running joke that he is a bit like the Grinch. However, for 99p, they had so many styles there. They did have the big ones as well. We saw some that was about 5 to £6 like you get in the supermarkets. But yeah, so uh, mum, I'm sure, will be like, Shan, where's mine? I'll be like, no, no, no. I didn't see, actually see any joke ones for mum, so I uh, <laughs> I can't pick her one up. But yeah, I saw this for Dada, so I thought, you know what, we'll kick off we'll kick off with a little advent calendar. And as I say, that was me last year. Not Grinchmas, but I had the green hair. This year, we've got the blue hair. Not going to lie, guys, I'm still getting used to it. Not to the point that, like, you're getting used to it, used to it, but you know the first thing when you wake up? I wake up and I look at myself and I'm like, oh, yeah, you are like Marge Simpson. <laughs> but I'm here. I am uh, rocking this. I mean, a lot of people are probably in the comments like, oh, no, but hey-ho, we're going to be expressive. We're not here to put anyone down. We are being us. And, oh, I have my pumpkin cheesecake. Not pumpkin cheesecake, peach cobbler burning. And when I tell you it smells delightful, it makes me want to make a peach cobbler. So I'm not too sure. We may have a little, a few baking videos coming as soon, guys, okay? Now, this is where you notice the accumulation of stuff for me, Mama G, Dada, my partner. There's a lot of it. I mean, the first thing, I'm just going to kick off because I couldn't not, okay? They did have, for £25, floor standing extendable ones. They also had, for £25, a floor standing extendable uh, gingerbread gonk. No. I just got this. And I also do have something else from this haul. But, it has been taken into Mama G's room and she will not let me have it back for the video. So all I'm going to say, guys, is make sure you stay tuned for the decorating for Christmas video because you will see this life-size product that Mother G has... Mother G? <laughs> trying to be posh there. Mama G has taken and she will now not allow me to have back to film the haul. It lives in her bedroom and, yeah, as I say, on the decorating for Christmas, I'm sure you'll see. But for now... I got this little guy, and this was two ninety nine. I don't think you can go wrong. It was just plain red with little cotton wool tufts almost. You've got his beard there, and then it doesn't extend or anything, but it just has its little candy stripe knitted legs with its little booties. They did also have it in grey and white in my store, but it's classic red, and I thought I can start off with a little gonk and then see how we go on. Now, you guys tagged me all in these for... um was it tesco's but the supermarkets were so expensive so i managed to get some walkers but i'm actually not going to eat five packs of crisp i don't really i'm not really a crispy person in terms of walkers because these are expensive i feel very guilty <laughs> eating like two or three packs of walkers give me like sea salt and shake i don't mind so i think what i'll do is i'll keep a couple of packs behind for me and mum and also i think with them we might actually just keep them for 24 hours eating christmas food or in a christmas vlog i mean we might have a packet as we're putting the christmas tree up you know and then i think the others i'll give to dada because he loves his crisp and i'm sure he will be more than happy to try these but yeah these were walkers pigs in blankets and they was one pound fifty 
Now, I don't think that's too bad, 30p a pack for walkers, but I know in some of the supermarkets, you can pay up to like two quid for a pack of these, and I'm like, is it because it's Christmas themed, or is it just because it's daylight robbery, basically, and they're taking the mick? This is a classic. You know, we don't go to a bargain shop and like not get our drinks or our little coffee sachets. So this is the Makate Gold. I just went for the classic latte for mum this time because I did get a few other little flavoured ones in there. And as you know, 10 for £10. £10? Absolutely not. 10 for £1. If it was £10, I would not be in the uh, bargain shop, let me tell you that. But 10 for a pound. You have your sugar in them. It's absolutely lovely mum loves them and i like them because they actually do get like a little bit of froth on not massively what do you expect for 10p a sachet but yeah it does enough and we don't have a coffee machine at work we literally just have tea coffee sugar that's it so it's sometimes nice to have that instead of going to starbucks and costa and spending a fortune on it you know but so this is not a purchase of mine however i feel i had these last year so this is what my um, partner picked up because <laughs> um he's getting accustomed to the way me and mum do our festivities so at the moment we've got a huge bag of halloween snacks which as i am in between takes i'm having a little bit of a sour spider when that bag empties out i was like oh, we'll start getting bits for like festive stuff so he saw this and he was like oh i was like okay so this is mackies of scotland toasted marshmallow flavored toffee popcorn now you guys know me i am much more of a salted popcorn However, I don't mind some flavoured ones. So, uh, yeah, pick these up. I think these were one pound for the bag. And when I tell you, he's like, can I have my popcorn? Because these have been sitting here for about a week. Because obviously I've been waiting to have my hair done. And he's like, we've got like a few cookies in here. <laughs> Where's his? And he's like, can I have my cookies? Yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, it's kind of like with Dada. When Dada gets stuff and he's like, Shan, I need me sweets. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You know, like the types of sweets from B&M? Wait till I film the whole Dada. And then you get it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how it's been going. But it's all good. It's all good and dandy. I tell you what, I see this and I was like, yes, please. This was $2.99. Now, I'm sure I've seen these in boots for like a tenner. And it is a cooling bath pillar. It says cool touch gel and gel beads contour to the head and neck for added support. Make bath time more relaxing and comfortable. So it actually does feel very, very nice. And it's got the two suctions on. So I can't wait. After um, <laughs> the bath is a bit stained at the moment, okay? We're um, in the process of bleaching and scrubbing and disinfecting and ripping paint off of the bath to get the blue out. But when we do, I'm going to put this in. And if this does get blue hair dye for $2.99, I don't mind. But yeah, what a cool... What a cool concept and when you have a stressful day you just want to sit back and that is what you can do within your life and yeah i am not complaining about that at all i mean it's supposed to be a festive thing our moon sour spiders eminous ones though oh very sour but very good now what do i love at christmas apart from everything as soon as we walked in, my partner was like, okay. He knew that was coming straight in the box. Yes, guys, the candy cane obsession has started, all right? You get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve for one pound. Okay? Twelve for one pound. You can't go wrong. You absolutely cannot go wrong. This is the start of the candy cane obsession. Every haul, every outing, I am looking for candy canes. I think this year we are going to do the tasting candy cane like video for the Christmas food to taste like for the price, the style, the flavouring, everything like that. So this one won't actually make it to the video because I will uh, be eating these probably actually after this video. I'm not going to lie. My partner can uh, finish off the Halloween. I'm, I'm well into my uh, candy canes now. But yeah, who remembers? I think it's B&M where you get all the crazy flavours, like the cocktail flavours and bits and bobs like that. So uh, yes, stay tuned for that. Or if there's anywhere that you know do good candy canes, let me know down below, please. Now, I feel I got this last year, but I wanted another one. I saw it and I was like, yes. Home bargains are great for their um, decorations, guys. They honestly are. This was $1.99. Now, I feel it's gone up a bit. I feel this could have been like $1.49 last year. 
but it is just a big fluffy ball ball with emerald green. Now you would have thought, why did you not get one for blue? Because blue is the colour of your hair this year. They didn't have it. It was only green or one with a red one. And I thought, hmm, I quite like the green. So yeah, $1.99. They did have a huge selection once again. They had the huge centers. They had loads of reefs. And it was it was nice because now the Halloween stuff is like completely gone out there. It is full blown Christmas. And I'm like, oh my god, where's the snacks? Where's the snacks? Where's the cleaning products? Where's the gongs? You know, I think I get very excitable <laughs> in these shops and it's kind of nice not to be like, oh, can't act like that or can't be like that because my partner's just like, you do you. I'll be walking down the aisle and I'm like, <gasps> oh my God, pigs and blankets, Chris. He's like, put them in the trolley. Put them in the trolley. So yeah, I'm, a, I'm not allowed, but it's good to be able to be expressive about people thinking you're actually way too Christmas festive spirit right about now. And I'm just like, mm -mm. No, 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 no. I've got some bits now. <laughs> Listen, I got these for um, salads. But I don't think it's going to be for a salad. I think these are going to be more for soups. I feel we're getting in the colder weather. I do like my soups. So I just got a little box of the garlic and herb croutons. These were 99p. You know what? You can't go wrong with them, as I say. Maybe in the new year with the PT again, it'll be like shank it back in the salads. But for now, that's going to go with a nice soup with some crusty stick with loads of butter right about now i mean because i just i don't know i'm not i'm not here for that at the moment i, I want to i know i still need to get in shape but i love warming food and i'm gonna have a lot of layers on so just hide it really hide it eh? i saw these these were one pound fifty though you pay because it's branded and they are the gourmet jelly beans of the jelly bean company no jelly bean factory sorry 36 huge flavors you know me, like jelly babies, not jelly babies, jelly beans and like gold bears is like the epitome of my childhood. We've got in here like peachy pie, cherry blossom soda, all sorted caramel, candy floss. Oh, this, like when we do um, our Christmas Eve boxes, you know me and mum, she always normally puts like a little sweet in. Or you know, you used to get the one pan tubes. But I don't even know if they're a pan anymore. Oh, I'll have to ask mum if they're a pan actually still. Or if they are, they'll probably be tiny. But yeah, anything like those little types of sweets, I'm here for. That is all I am about. Now, I know I'm late to this, guys. But I couldn't find these in my home bargains last month. And I saw them and I was like, no, I need to give them a go. It's McCarty Gold again. One pound, but you only get eight sachets. But they're the pumpkin spice latte ones. Now, yes, I know we are past autumn and Halloween. But I couldn't get these last month. So I was like... I saw them, I'm going to take advantage and see what they're like because I actually heard quite a few good reviews on these. A lot of people said they was like comparable to the Starbucks one. And now I love myself a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. So we shall see. Also speaking of Starbucks, they've um, released all their Christmas bits now, haven't they? All the festive drinks. Greg's, we tried the hazelnut hot chocolate. I wouldn't rave about that. It had a little bit of hazelnut, but nothing major. But now um, we will be partaking like the Starbucks and the Costas because it's rude not to. I cannot wait to have my first gingerbread latte. That's all I'm saying. I'm like, yes. Now, they don't do any Christmas sponges. I don't know what's going on. I think the only Christmas sponges I've ever seen were the ones that I had to get off of Minky. But these, I think these are like 79p now. 10 sponges for Mama G because we all know I don't really like the green bit on the bottom of the sponges, guys. You're probably shouting and being like, Shan, it's a sponge. I like the pink ones with the white bottoms on. I don't know why. I just think they look nicer. But mum, she's like, just get me what I like. I'm like, okay, and I will do that for you, mother, okay? I will do that for you. This is where you're going to shout at me. Did I need any more tea lights? No. Because I'm looking at the mountain that you see in there. But is it getting cold? And Shannon doesn't have a radiator in her room. So all she has is her electric blanket and candles. Yes. I got another pack. 99p for 6, 12, 18 tea lights. Gingerbread. Could you get any more festive? And I mean, I'm actually really looking forward to decorating my room for Christmas. Because I will be having tea lights galore. The only thing that I don't like, as you all know, is having to change them. But... Hey ho, it's the things, I'd say my electric blanket has come out. It's well and truly out. Mum is in the process of getting hers out. And I was like, we will be fine. We are having the heating on. 
couple of hours a night just take the chill off when we have our baths and that but yeah the electric blankets they are fabulous guys and then another little thing from mama g she said oh i need some wipes these i believe are about 89 or 99 now but power action are actually a really good brand and mum gets quite a lot of them from here 50 wipes power action just surface wipes under a quid you can't go wrong there's not many festive cleaning products at the moment i managed to find a few things and i managed to get some things that you will actually say to me shan we knew you would end up getting one but the other one mum's gonna say to you do we need any more of that in the house and i will say yes so <laughs> that's how that's gonna go i already i can already sense it guys okay one pound and i'm so excited that i will be getting more of this because the same me and my partner have a sweet tooth grinch candy floss vanilla flavor look at that guys if you're doing like a christmas eve box again or a little stocking filler this is perfect one pound i would actually open it and try it like i done before with them but i think he might get a bit upset because i only got the one pot because i thought it's good and we've got two we're gonna start shannon don't share her food but Shannon has to share her snacks now and I'm like it's a big thing for me it's a big thing but it, he shares his snacks too so I'm like I can't moan too much but this we will devour this will probably be two handfuls each for us and then it will be gone so best believe next month you're probably going to see like a mountain of Grinch candy floss and it just goes to show when you go to like your Christmas markets and that how much they charge and how sickening it is for how much they actually charge on that because something like that would probably cost you three quid at a christmas market that's probably being generous as well right do you have any idea what this could be and let me tell you guys there's three of them so uh we you know what it's gonna be i can't go in there and not get a mug i can't go in there and not get a mug and oh look at this so I've had a lot of you saying, Shan, what's your partner's name? And I don't know. I, I mean, it's just something I will probably end up slipping up. And I will probably end up saying his name. But for now, I thought, I tell you what, I tease you with an initial. This is his mug, okay? His initial is D. These were £1.50 or £1.80. And obviously, there's three. Me and Mama G, and I was like, you know what? Because Mum said the other day, Shan, we need to get like matching mugs. I'm like, okay. You guys always know me and Mum, we always have our matching initial ones. And even when it comes to like tree decorations, S and G, the other letter's been binned. And I'm thinking, if she comes back and this letter's on the tree, that's that's Mama G. She's happy. So uh, yeah, this is. I think it's so cute. It's very traditional very traditional indeed and it was funny because the letters was mum and my partner matched and i'm an odd one my color is completely different so i'm like oh fabulous for that this this is one of the main things i think he's been waiting for he's say he has a sweet tooth oh and just as i get this out it must be as if he can hear them your cookies are here Come on, <laughs> So these are the Fox's Millionaire Cookies, and I think you get six in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, eight. Eight in here, and they're about one fifty. But yeah, he um <laughs> he does love his cookies, and as I say, he's been in the bath. But literally, as soon as I got this out, the door opened, so you must have heard the rustle of them. You can have a after <laughs> with your toasted popcorn, okay? But yeah, so uh cookies cookies candy floss anything sweet at the moment we're starting to build our own little uh little box for christmas let's just say now i saw these and i thought these were actually really good one pound and they are the vix vape drops in the peach flavor i did see some lemon ones but i don't really i don't think i'd like the lemon ones they had them in a different style so i might pick them up for mum but yeah iced tea peach with cooling menthol and I just think they're really good to put in. You know, like just for, I mean, it's for Vicks. So it should. Vicks is what you rub on when you have a cold, ain't it? Mm -hmm. So it'll good. be, ah, oh, so they'll just be like a soothers, in essence. Yeah. Well, I thought we'd give something different, go for soothers. Something creamy for the throat. Yeah, with creamy, creamy cooling menthol. <laughs> 
And then you guys love the last say or shot it. And of course, Home Bargains is the place I get all the mini shots. They didn't have any mini bottles. The only ones they had was the tequila cocktails, which we've already gone through. But I saw these for $3.99 and they are the happy hour party pack. Nine alcoholic drinks and they are literally, <laughs> these are like the jelly shots that you remember from the nappy nights. And you get three limoncello, three pear drops and three berry bursts. So the next one, because as I say, mum was very eager to do another say or shot it. However, she didn't quite get the concept. She wanted to really be honest. So she basically said everything. <laughs> and I had to like force her to be like, no, sure, she'll just take a shot of something. So it might just be another thing of Shannon taking shots. But yeah, I didn't think they was too bad. And as I say, I am on the hunt if they bring any more new ones out. And also when I go to Iceland, I want to check if Iceland do them. Because not Iceland the country, Iceland the food shop. Because they used to do the actual proper like what I would call the nappy night drinks. Or the test tube drinks. So maybe we will have a look for them. What else have we got? Oh, well no, they were just like watered down, didn't they? Yeah. But the little test tube ones weren't too bad that me and mum had. No. We'll see. Like Diane is trying to wind Brogan up. If Brogan's oh. watching this, she's going to voice note me and be very angry with you. Oh, not me. <laughs> and then mum needed some toilet bleach. So I got the Toilet Hard Pick Active Fresh Mountain Pine. It's not quite festive, but. It's pine, and pine is everywhere at the moment. Everything is like Christmas scent. However, pine is not something that I gravitate towards. I'm much more gingerbread, mulled wine, spice berry, that type of thing, like warm vanilla. Pine is something I'm a bit like, oh, oh, no, not a bit of me. Guys, I am going to quickly go and get a drink, and we will get in with the rest, because this, the bag is falling, and we've still got half a bag there. Right, so... The next thing, of course, we're still down the Christmas aisles. Another little, oh, it's getting more Halloween snacks. The sale spiders, they're nice, aren't they? We've got some doormats. Now, oh, I still haven't eaten my other one. Oh, no. I've just been nibbling the legs off of it. <laughs> oh, I got doormat. Now, with the Halloween ones, I got two new ones. And then when we got the bits out, we didn't realise we actually had two ones anyway. So now we have four. So I've got... A new one and you know me I'm probably gonna get another new one next month but we'll see I thought this was really nice it's 40 by 60 centimeters and it's a little candy cane print I thought it was really really cute and it was two pound I don't think you can go wrong for two quid can you I mean he's just chucked another spider at me and I haven't even finished this one but yeah they had loads of match they had Merry Christmas Gonk ones. Oh, they are spicy. Spicy, sour. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind of a few days, guys. And you know, you just think like there's no time for anything. But yeah. I was very happy to pick up a little snack pot. You guys know I love these cup noodles. I couldn't find the katsu curry or normal teriyaki ones, though. You know, the best ones. And the wrapper has like the oriental sunset design on it. So I got these ones. These were £1.50 though. They're a bit more pricier. But it is the Sober Wok style Japanese curry. These are very nice. Very, very nice indeed. So I thought I'd pick one up just for a little snack. And then talking of snacks, you guys know there is no home bargains without getting some mug shots. So I got three creamy cheese pasta this is for mum these are 49.59 each used to be three for 150 now they're just single prices and then for me i got three of the chicken and mushroom noodles which i absolutely love i need to go to b m though guys because you're telling me that the mug shots is pigs in blankets but we couldn't find that at our one what's that pizza and nugs yeah just use odds bits and bobs yeah, yeah. We're using literally up still like the old Halloween food. And if there's anything else in there, like old chips or onion rings, mum will probably have some onion rings or whatever put in. Yeah, we'll just see what's in there. It's one of them nights we've come back from work late. And you know, we're just like, we need to try and pack for London at the weekend. Film, I've been finishing off my hair, have a bath. And you know, it's just like, I actually can't be bothered to cook. And I also can't be bothered to spend money on a takeaway. So we're just literally ransacking the freezer and seeing what's there. But yeah. Chicken and mushroom noodles. This is my ones. Oh, 
You might hear some background conversation because now they're having a little bit of a chit chat of what they want for dinner. I picked up a candle, shock. This was the Glade one of honey and chocolate. And you know what? I actually get more honey than the chocolate. But you know Glade, I love these for the little canisters. And they had started bringing the Christmas ones out. However, I didn't want to... What are they waffling on about? <laughs> it's just asking if she has anything for dinner. I'm like, what are they waffling about? They did start to bring out the Christmas ones. However, the two that was there, all the sides were scratched. So I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it to myself. So, and probably when I go back next month, we will, of course, have... We will have some and right now guys i don't know what it is so <laughs> i'm trying a lot of new stuff okay wine never really been a wine person me and my partner went on the vineyard tour now all of a sudden we love a little bit of wine then dada's friend got me the scrumpy jack from cornwall i love a bit of cider anyway but now i'm gravitating towards stouts and like beers and as i say my partner likes the stouts and guinness and everything coming into winter so i saw these and i was like we need to try these these were 99p and they're by the tailgate brewery and the sorgatuck brewery we have peanut butter milk stout and blueberry maple stout now i have no idea how these are gonna go guys i mean i'm be, we'll be sure to keep you updated in a vlog but I don't quite know. We tried a dark chocolate stout when we went on the brewery tour after the vineyard. And it was a very acquired taste. I'm not going to lie. It can be very heavy. However, I feel these could be really nice in stews. That's when I would use like Newcastle Brown Ale or Guinness if I was doing like a nice beef and ale stew. Oh, I can't. I'm getting hungry right now. Now, don't shout on me, okay? I picked something up. I just couldn't resist guys they've started with the christmas kusons creations driving gnome for christmas okay oh it's gorgeous it is cotton candy and winter berries 500 ml for one pound and look at the little direction direction what was i going to say there direction no it's the gnome display or decoration that's what i meant to say so um we know that i don't need any more of these but Shan still picked them up. What do you think I picked up to go with it? If you know me, you know what I'm going to pull out. The matching hand wash, which uh, we definitely didn't need. This again was 99p, but I thought you can't have one without the other. And when we decorate for Christmas, we need to get rid of the Halloween soap and we will pop this out. And I know mum might say, Shan, we didn't need that. But she's going to see it's got a gonk on the front smell the absolute delightful scent of it and she'll be fine she'll be fine i know she will if not you won't see it on the uh, decorate for christmas video <laughs> it would just be like normal one would be like oh floor wipes again power action you get 15 floor wipes now these are large these are probably like i'd say two and a half to three times of a normal wipe again 79 to 89p definitely under a quid and i got the uh apple scent just like the regular anti-back surface ones power action i feel are the brands you know you have like your zafloras and what was it your fabulosas that power action i feel is like the wipe the wipe connoisseur of everything because they literally do everything and anything and uh, i'm all here for that i'm here for it more coffee guys my coffee so this is actually another brand that seems to be coming in a bit like Macate, but it's not too bad. Mum has the original ones of these as well. But I picked up the 10 sachets, again for a quid, in salted caramel. Salted caramel. These ones you don't get as much froth on. I will say that. These are more like an instant coffee, but obviously you get the flavour of them. But it all goes down the same hole and pipe, as Mum says. And for a fraction of the price, I tell you what I could do. Oh, I might try that. Use my little milk frother and then pour that in. Just to give it a little bit more volume, you know? again biscuits these were i think 79p now i don't really like to pay a lot for biscuits but fox's creams i will do they are probably elite tier for me in biscuits like the original fox's custard creams oh yes please so these are apple crumble and guys are limited edition if these are nice 
best believe I'm going back and getting like enough to last me through next year. As I say, about 79.89p, but Fox's apple crumble. Have you ever seen something that sounds so perfect? You could be having your cup of tea, putting your biscuit in, and your biscuit is flavoured of apple crumble without probably all of the calories of an apple crumble and half a pack of custard that I normally put on it. So yes, I'm very excited to try them. So as I say, keep an eye on the vlogs, any uh, upcoming videos. You will see them, that is for sure. Another mug. Now whose is this? Oh, this is mum's one, as I say. This is the same print as my partner's. Red and white. I mean, it was actually really nice that we could actually get a matching set. I mean, I say matching. Mine is slightly different, but it's all the same style because mum's letter is actually normally really hard to find. Even though you think G might not be such a common initial, I don't know if they just don't stock as many Gs, but yeah, so it was really nice that we was able to get that. And where's my one? Ah, there it is. As I say, it's all the same style as in traditional vibes, I say, but my one is green. So we have the set of the red and white, and then the green. So as I say, I think because of the rims of them, yeah, they can all stack. So I might do a little uh, stack rooney of the cups and then we can all have it. Oh, what's that? God, he's making noise in the kitchen, any blessing. <laughs> and then, right. Broken record time. If you go to your bargain shops and you don't pick up your drinks, what are you doing? What are you doing? And guys, I was ecstatic. Look what I've managed to pick up. Flavita Bubbly. 79p, guys. Sparkling water. You know I absolutely love these in the summer. And you might think, oh, sparkling water. It doesn't have the twang of normal sparkling water. It's almost like a fizzy drink Fanta consistency. But we have mojito and two mango. I haven't been able to find. They used to do strawberry and I think passion fruit. But I haven't found them one. So I'm going to take the three of them because... Can't be choosy, and as I say, absolutely love them. This was a, I think it's quite cheap for fairy. This is the huge one, 820 mil, and I think it was £2.50. And it says, wishing you a fairy Christmas sugar plum delight. I love the festive um, coating on it. As I say, because there wasn't a lot of like proper festive cooking, cooking, cleaning bits yet. Oh, it's lovely. And as I say, with this one, you only need the smallest bit. Mum has a tendency with the cheap ones to just squirt, 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 and then it's like overflowing with bubbles. But yeah, this one should last, her, I'd say, for this month. And if there's another festive one out, normally they do a red festive one. I will be on the lookout for that as well. A couple of little miniatures here. Always have to stop by the minis. Hand sanitizer. 59p again it's always still handy to carry on your persons and i can't go a month without this guys this helps me drink my water i'm still not drinking like two three four liters a day i'm probably going through three sippy cups which might just be about 1.8 maybe under two liters but yeah these are like 80 odd p they do normally do a orange one but this was strawberry and watermelon you right? is you getting more snacks no <laughs> <laughs> I said the um, biscuits, apple crumble ones, they will be nice to try with a cup of tea. They were nice ones. No. We'll have a new mug, cup of tea, and apple crumble biscuits. <laughs> and then again, a few new drinks. I We've had the Jelly Belly ones. So these are about 130 to 150 each, but you're paying because it's the brand. Nisi, I've had before. These, they can anything charge you from up to like 230 in the shops. But Jelly Belly, this was 130, 140, I think. And we got the Berry Blue. And then Nisi, I like these. I think these are very American find. I don't want to smash them on the mugs now. But I got the Peach Lemonade one. These, I think, would be lovely with a bit of gin in them. Of course, get a little bit of gin. I don't think maybe so much as vodka, but definitely a bit of gin in there. And then we have something that's definitely leaked in here. <laughs> I, I don't. That may the drink maybe. You think the drink? I thought it was the um, washing up liquid. Very basic. The kitchen foil. I actually didn't pop the kitchen foil in. You remembered that Mum needed this. Do you remember how much this was? I feel that like seventy nine eighty nine. Yeah. Under a quid. Yeah. I forgot we needed this. And oh look, it actually matches my hair. I could be a sponsor for a kitchen foil. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's a very basic thing. And again, more basic things. Three ribbed cleaning cloths. These were 89p for the three. And mum said she had her sponges. We've got her J cloths in here, but she said I need some bigger sponges. So not sponges, cloths. So we got her those. I was a bit disorientated though, guys, because they have changed the layout of our home bargain store. And I'm just like... I, I don't deal with change very well and there was different aisles everything was around and I weren't loving life when I was getting in there the power action yet again the 30j cloths on the roll these are about 79.80p again I think 79.89 mum loves these because she just tears them off I do tell her that she can reuse them and wash them she's just like she tears them off and she's good to go so I'm like okay you do you mother now did we need any more of this? No, this is something that mum will moan at again. Why have you bought two? But I couldn't decide. So I got two air fresheners. <laughs> we got the Glade one, which was the warm apple pie. And then we have the original air pure of mulled wine. This, I think, is going to be very nice. This is the one that I feel mum's going to use more as like the room spray. She's just going to walk up and down like the hallway spray. <laughs> that will be mum. So we got two of these. The Glade, I think, was about one... 120, 130, and air pure is about a quid on it. So, oh, it's all going into me, uh, sour spiders. <laughs> I'm gonna have to snack on them after. And then, oh, bacon bits. Again, these would have been under a pan. Smoky flavored crumbles. Get the taste of bacon without the bacon. So, hold on, what on earth are they? I actually thought they was bacon pieces. Flour seasoning. Okay, I don't actually know what these are, guys. I thought they were actual bacon pieces, but it says bacon without the bacon. But all I know is they taste really nice, so uh, I'm all here for that. And the last thing, Shannon doesn't share this. And Shannon doesn't have to share popcorn, as I say, because my partner is more of a sweet, toffee, caramel. I'm salty. I know, I said this is the one thing that I actually won't have to share. No. <laughs> You can have your toasted toy free ones. These are one pound butter kiss, simply salted popcorn, but I can sit and eat the whole bag. Once this opens, and I, I mean, I don't feel too bad because when you actually condense it down, it's just over half the bag. But yeah, butter kiss, salted, absolutely love it. They do a sweet and salty mix, but they never have that in my store. And then they have the original sweet, but he decided he wanted his Mackies. And guys, the bed is filled, so that means home bargains, November, the start of Christmas, we are done. So, my lovelies, it feels good to be back in home bargains. It actually feels like forever since I've been there. And because of the transition, last time I was there, you had the Halloween and Christmas. Now it's just pure Christmas. But as I say, they was changing the aisles around and it did disorientate me. I was a bit like... <laughs> No, it needs to be there. Like, I know my local home bargains to a T. I know the aisles, and when it changed, I'm like... <gasps> What do I do? But I feel like we're introducing Christmas gradually. I don't think we're going full force. We've only got one gonk, one mat, one bauble, ball, maybe a few occasional uh, Christmas sweets and snacks, let's just say. But I don't think we've done too bad. We've got Mama G, her necessities. We've all got new matching mugs, which is absolutely... I can't wait to have them all stacked up against the thing. That will be so, so cute. And then we've uh, still brought a little bit of autumn back in. The pumpkin spice latte. I've just dropped me uh, Grinch thing. And we've also got Dada's advent calendar. As I say, he will have a proper one, but that's just like a little snack one. He will probably have that if he's had a few beers after the football. Because Newcastle ain't been doing too bad lately. We had a couple of wins against Manu and Arsenal. I think they had a loss on the last game, but hey-ho, swings and roundabouts. Anyway, guys, I don't want to rip it rabbit and take up any more of your day. If you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I say, leave us a comment. What do you think of the haul? What is your favourite bit? Have you started getting involved in a bit of the Christmas bits down the bargain shops? And anything you've seen that you think Shannon needs to keep an eye out in her local store for that? Please do let me know down below as always. Guys, take care, stay safe as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!